Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and record this so that we can go ahead and um, get the meeting started. Um, so this is the Joint Senate meeting. Basically, a lot of you might be new here. Some of you may have been in Senate for a while, but I'll show the agenda real quick to just kind of explain the scope and breadth of how this meeting works. So how it initially starts is the outgoing Senate um, is going to basically go through our approval of the minutes like we normally would in our outgoing officer reports. Reports where you get information from us. It's more of us just saying like kind of final thoughts, goodbyes, things of that nature. Then we'll go into the regular agenda and we'll elect holdover senators. And these are going to be people that can um, be senators and like voting members to the full Senate for the new administration that exists um, under Naya and Ethan. Uh, just like the difference with holdover senators is it's kind of like a continuity thing where they can be representative of the past Senate um, and just lend kind of a sense of like uh, historical basis for some things, um, context for what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. And then we adjourn and Ethan will take over and begin presiding over their meeting where they'll introduce to you their new officers. Um, and then they'll do the election of a senior senator, university senate representatives and senex representatives. And they can explain that to you in a little bit more depth when we get there. Um, but that's basically how the meeting works. I'll just be here for a brief moment at the beginning. Um, so I'll stop sharing my screen at this point. Uh, with that being said, I am now looking for a motion from a member of the outgoing Senate to approve the cycle 11 full minutes. I have a motion from Holly Hall. Can I get a second? Second from Mary Morrison. Um, and just drop a reaction if you approve. I'm not going to launch a poll or get too fancy tonight with y'all in that regard um, if I don't have to. Okay, and with that, it appears that the ayes have it and the cycle 11 full Senate minutes have been approved. Um, so now we'll be going into our outgoing officer reports. Those will be five minutes at most for speaker time allotted. However, we advise that if you can, you keep it a little bit shorter just because I don't think in the middle of the summer, everybody's first priority is being at a Senate meeting, but yeah. So Aprame, you can go ahead. Well, uh, let me say I'm very excited to be here for my final Zoom call of my Senate career. I have not had a Zoom. I had not had a Zoom call a year before um, when I was joining this position, but I lived my entire Senate career on Zoom, so it seems only fitting that that we're going out this way. Really, my sp speech would just be uh, a lot of thank yous to the people who made this year tolerable for me and helped me get through it, and that would be my entire staff, specifically Addison who's been the best vice president that someone could ask for, um, as well as David Mucci um, and Jennifer Brockman um, and the administrative assistance of anybody who I was trying to get in contact with. They put up with a lot from me <laughs> and poor scheduling abilities. And I just want to say thank you. Um, the biggest reflection that I would have coming out of this year was how much the university um, is this very large concept, which is presented to us in student Senate is this large concept, which you kind of like to think about, but really neither of those institutions work without the people inside them. Um, and so I'm glad that I've met some great people. Uh, I want to go back to my staff again, who, who have been fantastic through the year, considering a time of unprecedented. It's been un so unprecedented, but um, I was very grateful for the support that I received over the year and the fact that w really what it is, what it boils down to is your relationships and how you treat people. And so that would be the one thing which I would tell y'all to keep in the back of your mind whenever you're, you're moving forward. This isn't just Senate advice, this is general advice. Um, the other uh, item which I would like to discuss was the resignation of the our former student body vice president Grant. Um, it was incredibly troubling to me um, that there hadn't been more coverage surrounding the circumstances regarding why he left the office. And he left the office not because, well, 
because it, it was so the Senate could function better, but it was because um, there had been numerous allegations of sexual assault or sexual violence placed against him. And there, on the, on the back end, um, there was not very much uh, coverage or by the UDK or any other major entity in cases like this, where it's really important to make sure that you're removing the social camouflage of the predator, there, there was not a lot of uh, coverage broadly. So I felt that it was only right to the survivors and the victims that something be said publicly so that there's nothing, um, it, it's out there and they know that they're believed and they're, they can get the support that they need and they know that the student senate supports them as well. Um, and that was probably one of the most difficult things that I've ever been through. And it was probably the thing which I learned the most from this year, but it's not the thing which I want to, I want the student senate to be remembered for this year. I would love us to be remembered for raising the minimum wage as well as uh, improving, getting a fee package through, which was much needed um, as well as trying to hold together uh, the university through a pandemic. And those things I think are the important things to remember. And they're the things that the staff did and they're the things that the staff fought for, which is really what this was this year. It was a team effort. Um, and I wanted to keep it short because, you know, Zoom calls, this one little Zoom box does not deserve more than five minutes, no matter who I am. So uh, I just wanna thank everyone for being honestly on a scale of, all over the board from passionate to incredibly nice. Um, I don't think those are on different ends of the spectrum actually, let me not say that, but I just wanna thank everyone for coming to me and being able to feeling like th that when you talk to me, you were able to talk openly. That was something that I truly appreciated. Um, and the final two people I would like to thank, I actually didn't get to they're, because they're no longer in Senate are Jimena Ibarra and Trey Duran for the work that they put in on their various projects. Men did a lot for DEI in the Student Senate and I'm sad that she's not gonna be continuing, but it's understandably so. Um, but that's all for me. And I thank you all and don't be a stranger. I put my phone number, I think in personal email more places than I would ever care to imagine. So I'm sure you can find that somewhere if you ever wanna talk to me. I don't know why you would, but thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Aprame. Um, so now it's my outgoing report. Um, I've like tried to think about what I'd say here. And honestly, I don't necessarily have anything too succinctly or solidly thought of right now, but I would like to echo a lot of what Aprame said. It was a hard year, but it was because of the Senate, people in Senate, um, that we were able to get a lot done, that we were able to make a lot of strides forward for students. Um, and I'm leaving on a kind of bittersweet note. I could have continued my involvement, but I think it was time for my own sake to leave Senate. So I just like to say that like, at the end of the day, remember that the sole purpose of this activity isn't to like help yourself. It's not to have your own title or to boost your ego. It's to help other students at the University of Kansas. It's to do meaningful things for other people. So don't kind of let self-interest get in the way of that. At the end of the day, this is a extracurricular activity that you are only involved in for, you know, as long as you're a student at KU. And once that's gone, not many people are necessarily, to be quite frank, going to care too much about the fact that you were XYZ person in Student Senate, but the people around you will care about and remember what you did for them and how you treated them at the end of the day. So I just say, don't get caught up in the minutia of what like Senate can be and kind of like the power that can be given to you in a sense, try to just at the end of the day, remember why you joined in the first place and do it because it's like, do the right thing. But that's all I have. So Umberto Gomez is uh, next. Um, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Umberto Gomez Salinas. Um, uh, I am very happy to be here and, I also wanted to thank everyone for last year. I would say it was a, a, an enormous learning curve for me. Um, and it is a lot of knowledge that uh, I acquired and that I hope to keep on sharing here in the Senate. Um, I am very excited to be coming back 
uh, especially like having reflected upon the role I fulfilled this semester um, and where we succeeded, but also where we might have failed, you know, and how that could, you know, work or not work out for how the Senate moves on. Uh, but I'm very excited to, to see you all here. You know, it's a great attendance. I'm glad I could say goodbye to, to like one last couple of times. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to be here once again with all of you that are coming back. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that, Umberto. Um, Furcon cannot join us tonight because he has an overlapping work schedule. So Holly Hall is next. Hi everyone. Uh, unfortunately, I will be coming back in my role, or fortunately, this coming year. So I'm on outgoing, but also incoming. The grads decided they wanted me to stay. Um, I echo, and I don't know if I can say this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I echo everything um, Aprame said towards the end of his speech. It was a really hard year. We had a lot of really um, horrible experiences in Student Senate, but I'm really excited this coming year uh, for Naya and Ethan's leadership um, because I have seen in these past couple weeks just working together within the office that they care about their staff, which of course I do believe Aprame and Addison did too, others maybe not so much. Um, uh, they care about their staff, they care about inclusivity, they care about making things better on our campus, and I'm looking forward to working with them to make things better on our campus for graduate students. So I am really excited about this upcoming year, putting 2020 to 2021 behind us and making KU a better campus for all. Thank you, Holly. Uh, Martine, our outgoing internal affairs director is next. Thank you so much. I would just like to, you know, highlight a couple of things from everybody in the office because uh, this year was truly amazing. You know, just starting with Aprame, like you said, getting a fee package through, which um, hasn't really been done in my previous years. And uh, one of those things was getting on two more case managers for students who are in need. Um, that's really going to help out students on campus and um, help that workload in, in the student affairs office. And as well, as you mentioned, um, through his leadership, he got us through a pandemic. He got the university through a pandemic and bringing those issues to, to the table and advocating for them fearlessly. And Umberto, he helped write the diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging framework, which I don't think any other student has done before. And now next year, um, not only does Student Senate have um, you know, a great base to, to continue working on DIB, but also working in tandem with administration and having them aware of you know, those goals that Student Senate has. And then Miriam doing an amazing job on social media, um, bringing awareness to a variety of different social issues and, and just highlighting great things that Student Senate has done. Um, in my, my experience, I haven't seen a communications director who did her job you know, that well. And so Miriam, I really applaud you and also just keeping the Senate office together. Um, if it wasn't for you, I don't think we would have held up, but uh, so we're, we're really thankful you were there. Holly, uh, I, I, we got to address that, you know, the graduate students have one of the most fearless advocates, you know, on their side. Um, if it isn't for Holly, I don't know if the graduate students would really be able to get their, you know, their issues and needs addressed the way they should be. And not only that, um, I've also seen her advocate for disabilities on this campus and making sure that we are an accessible campus like no other. And so, Holly, thank you for that. And Logan, uh, you brought the fight to the state legislator and, and bringing people in, bringing students to testify like Faith Lopez and, and protecting rights, you know, uh, making sure that, you know, people of transgender feel safe and, and you know, providing, you know, negative testimonies and, and getting support behind, building support behind certain legislation is, is something that's really a great skill. And, and definitely, Logan, you, you did a fantastic job of that. And then Andrew and Sadie, uh, you all, you both did an amazing job of reaching out to student orgs, seeing what they needed, seeing where the funding was needed, and, and reaching out and getting that funding for them and getting that through Senate. And it's a really long process. It's really tedious. tedious. And so Andrew and Sadie, thank you for, you know, being able to do that and being great examples of what it is to be a treasurer and associate treasurer, and as well as, you know, um, as providing funding for the sexual assault or the, as well as Addison for the sexual assault Prevention and Education Center. Um, that's something that's that's really amazing, and I really hope to see that um, continue to grow in that research study, and and hopefully that brings a lot of benefits to our students on campus. And lastly, as Dr. Cornell West 
an African American philosopher and political activist once said, if you don't know struggle, you don't know hope. And I think this last year was a lot of struggle, but I definitely see a lot of hope in this student senate and this next administration. And I, I really have high hopes and I know that great things will be accomplished. And so um, just that, yeah. So thank you so much to the Senate and uh, you know, take care of yourselves and spread love and love one another and love yourself. But yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Martine. Mariam, our outgoing communications director is next. I will echo the sentiments of love, love everyone from Martine, but um, I'll keep my speech pretty short. Um, I just wanna say, I really have appreciated the opportunity to learn and grow alongside you all. Um, it's obviously been a very interesting and at times very difficult year for all of us, myself included. Um, but overall, I will say I have enjoyed my time with Senate primarily for um, the fact that I've been able to grow so much as a person. I've learned so much about the university, about people, um, about, you know, outreach, something that I'm really passionate about. Um, but with that being said, I hope that in the areas that I fell short and the mistakes that I made and any mistakes that you've noticed from the rest of our exec, that that has been an opportunity of growth for um, other student leaders, whether that's in areas of student senate, if it's outside of student senate, if it's beyond the collegiate level. Um, yeah, I hope that that's just been an opportunity of growth and learning for you. And um, for those who plan to continue to be in senate, uh, I hope that you all recognize and know the real reasons why you're here. Um, I think this year is the best year to realize that student senate is real stuff. And it's not something you should just check off your resume and involves real people and real lives. And so um, just keep that in mind. And um, I wish everyone in the new administration and those who are continuing forward and really everyone um, all the best. And I hope you all have a fantastic summer. Okay, and then I made an error in the agenda. That's my bad. Um, next is Logan Stensing, our outgoing government relations director. Hey, y'all. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think Addison said something that, you know, I was kind of gonna going to say about uh, along the lines of talking about self-interest and making sure that if you, you know, are in student senate, that you're always serving others, that this is not a position that is for you. Um, and, you know, you really do serve at the leisure of everyone else and to always, you know, uphold ethical values because sometimes it might not be illegal but it might be highly unethical and you know I think that can kind of trend I did see throughout Senate but overall um, I really do want to encourage everyone to participate in Slack, the Student Legislative Action Committee. Um, political involvement is crucial and I think that every single one of you in this call should be involved, should be active on the issues that you care about and you should be engaging and uh, mobilizing other people on campus and off of campus and across the state at whatever levels that you can dream of, you should be trying to make the change in the world. And I think um, as an institution of higher education, as you're in college, this is a perfect opportunity for you to influence and create an impact on other students that can reverberate throughout their life. And you don't know all the, the powerful, meaningful things that they could do if you stepped up and were the one to inspire them. And I think that all of you have the capacity to inspire people because I've been inspired by a lot of people in this room. And so um, the only last thing I'll say is make sure that you always vote, please protect voting rights and always advocate for that, as well as the Lawrence City Commission uh, is up for re-election this year. Um, and there should be some forums that are actually coming out on June 26th. I think the Douglas County Democrats are hosting one, but you all should get really involved in the city commission race because there will be a lot of really great candidates um, and a lot of really transformational politics can happen at the local level. And so you all should get involved and more importantly, engage and get others involved and use your voice to help empower other individuals.
Thank you, Logan. Um, next are our treasurers, Andrew Moore and Sadie Williams, with Andrew going first. Well, hello. Uh, many great things have been said and will continue to be said, so I won't say anything that needs to, I won't go on too long. Instead, I will uh, simply state a quote from the great Ron Swanson. I'm usually not one for making speeches. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. So well said, Andrew. I think I liked it. Um, but I just wanted to say that this year has been very rewarding. I came into this role really not feeling qualified at all. Um, and I feel like I'm leaving it with a absurd amount of knowledge about funding guidelines and SSRR. And I don't know if I'm going to use that again, but by golly, I have it in there. So that's kind of fun. But on a really very real note, um, this year, like while it was pretty rough at points and things, um, Senate, and I've said it before, Senate has introduced me to truly some of the greatest people ever. And like, I'm such a softie guys. So like, just ignore it if I cry, but like truly some of the greatest people and this exact stuff, while not perfect, because no one is, um, supported each other through a lot. And I'm just gonna really miss it. So anyway, love you all. Super fun, super scenty. I don't usually cry, but this truly was just such an honor to serve here. So yeah. Oh, and I'll I'll be around. So don't worry, don't worry, guys. But <laughs> yeah. Okay, and with that, that is the last of our outgoing officer reports. We will now mo be moving into the election of holdover senators. So as I said, holdover senators basically functionally act as people who kind of maintain some sort of continuity between the administrations. So in order to be a holdover senator, you have to not already be a senator uh, for the 2021-2022 school year. And um, you also have to not be a member of exec staff just because that means you're ex-officio non-voting to the student senate. Um, so I will now open the floor for nominations for holdover senators. This will make you then a part of the Senate for the 2021-2022 school year. Um, Holly Hall. Can we nominate somebody that isn't here tonight? Or yes, not? because I have actually a nomination on the floor of my own, I just wanted to take your question before, or a okay. nomination from somebody who like requested one. Okay, um, but I would like to non nominate Sharif. Um, I don't want to butcher his last name, so I'm not going to, but I would lo like to nominate him um, as a graduate student. And then I had a request for nomination from Sophia Pacente. She is currently serving um, the end of her term as a freshman, sophomore, College of Arts and Sciences Senator, and would then transition into being a holdover Senator. Do I have any more nominations? You can nominate yourself or you can nominate someone else. We need three, right? Yeah. I'll nominate Martin Vasquez. Martin, do you accept? I do accept, yes. Okay, I'll give it just a minute more to see if there's any more nominations. Okay, I'll just scroll through the call real quick, make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, seeing none, can I get a motion to acclimate the three holdover senators, Sharif, uh, Sophia, and Martine? With a motion to acclimate the three holdover senators. Okay, a motion from Camden, and I'll just take Mary's signal second. at a second. Oh, we also have a second from Andrew. Um, then with that, just drop your favorite reaction to confirm the holdover senators. And with that, the holdover senators are confirmed. Can I get a motion to adjourn the 2020-2021 Student Senate? Motion from Holly. So moved. Oh, and I'll take that as a second from Andrew. Okay. Um, and with that, the 2020-2021 Student Senate is adjourned. 
So Naya and Ethan, y'all can take it over. Good luck. Thank you, Addison. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to thank, you know, the the past administration for just the great work they've done and the great work I know that they're going to continue to do into the future. Um, but yes, uh, sorry, my heart rate just, you know, doubled in the past minute when that happened, but you know, we're here. <laughs> so yeah, um, we will go ahead and seek a motion to um, begin this meeting for the 2021 to 2022 Student Senate. I see a motion from Faith Lopez and I also see one from Sadie, so I'll take that as the second. And yeah, with that, we will begin this um, joint session for the 2021 to 2022 Student Senate. Um, and first, I am going to be calling um, the new student body president, Naya Denise McAdoo, up, who is going to be introducing our new student executive staff. Thank you, Ethan. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, some of you know me and some of you don't. Um, I look forward to getting to meet all of you this year and work with you. Uh, my name is Naya Denise McAdoo. Uh, my pronouns are she, they. Uh, I am a senior here at KU, um, involved in a lot of different things, um, but rather new to Senate. Um, I'm excited to be in this office. I'm excited to work with this new administration. I think that this is a season, a season of um, accountability and continuous learning and change. And I think that that's what we're going to bring into the office. So um, yeah, without further ado, uh, for the executive staff, we'll start with, um, I went ahead and wrote it down, um, but I don't have it in the order of the way it's on the agenda, so I'm just going to read it in the way I have it written. Um, so for chief of staff, uh, Humberto Salinas Gomez, um, communications director, Asia Butler, uh, internal affairs oh, director. Nice. We do have to have a period where we like pause for questions as well. Mm. Uh, has some questions okay. In the okay. I didn't know if we wanted to do that in between or at the end, but yeah. Okay, yeah. So chief of staff, uh, Humberto Sinus Gomez, and then yeah, if we want to have a couple minutes for questions or anything like that, then. Uh, should I introduce myself, or are we skipping introductions? Um. Yeah. Go ahead and do an introduction. Okay, sounds good. Uh, sorry. Oh, hello, everyone. Again, uh, Humberto Gomez Salinas. Uh, very excited to be here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of changes happening, especially during the summer. We're going to just plan out how the semester is going to be so that we can all be in the same in the same page when this starts uh, and have a smooth beginning. Uh, we want as much involvement from everyone. So please feel free to reach out to any of us. You know, I'm here specifically to help you succeed, to help you write any legislation, uh, whatever projects you might have in mind. So um, yeah, and, and to succeed, to succeed with any projects, to do anything we want, uh, there has to be like good order, good scheduling, um, a, lo a lot of housekeeping uh, organization. And that's mostly what uh, I will be focusing on so that the Senate can run smoothly and therefore so that uh, the university can run smoothly. Uh, so yeah, very, very excited to be part of this administration. Uh, thank you all. And do we have any questions about Umberto Salinas, um, Umberto Gomez Salinas for the Chief of Staff? Seeing none, I can go ahead down the list. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. And then next we have our uh, I'm going to do internal affairs next. So director of internal affairs is going to be Max Alich. And then, yeah, Max, if you want to go ahead and do an introduction and then folks, if you have questions, feel free to ask those in this time. Hello, everyone. My name is Max Lilich. I know most of you. And if you don't know me, I'd be happy to introduce myself like I'm about to do. I'm from Lawrence. I'm a political science major. I'm a rising junior. And like Umberto, I'm super excited to serve on this administration. I've been already being put to work by taking minutes, slowly learning how to do that. Um, I'm hoping we can make Senate a very inclusive place for everyone. Uh, as my job as Director of Internal Affairs, I want to make sure everyone who wants to be on Senate can be included within Senate. So if you have any questions, any concerns about Senate at all, please reach out to me. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Is there anything else you need me to say? The ADA stuff, Max. Oh yeah, I apologize. 
So as director of internal affairs, I am in charge of ADA accommodations. So if you would need any ADA accommodations, please reach out to me seven days in advance and it'll obviously be protected that information and we can get those accommodated for you. And I'm open to questions now from everyone else. All right, seeing no questions, you can go ahead and move down the list. Awesome, cool. So I'm gonna introduce next our communications director, director Asia Butler. So yeah, Asia, if you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself and then, yep, open to any questions at this time. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Asia Butler. My pronouns are she, they, um, feel comfortable to refer to me as either or Asia is fine. Um, I'm really excited to take on this communications position um, if I'm passionate about something more than I am about identity and diversity, equity, inclusion, it's helping people feel comfortable enough to um, speak out and sort of get their voices heard. I think communication is a really important part of this entire process. Um, and being the debater that I am, um, that doesn't always have to be combative. It can be a very inclusive and a really empowering process. And so I look forward to helping all of you feel like you can do that. I'm always accessible through my email, my phone number, any of those things. I like to think that I'm an accessible person, um, but I have a lot of awesome things planned as far as like social media, the website, all of those things go. Um, and we working closely with Max to also make sure that those things are accessible. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's me. I'm excited to get to know all of you. Um, so, <laughs> you know. And with that, do we have any questions regarding Asia? All right, seeing none, we'll go ahead and move down the list. Awesome. So next we have our government relations director, uh, Bertie Alt. Bertie, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. And then, yeah, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask those. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Bertie. I use she and they pronouns. Um, I'm a political science major, and I'm also from Lawrence. Um, I'm just really excited to work with Slack this year and you know, work with our representatives to make sure that um, everyone at KU is accounted for and truly represented in our legislation. Um, I am accessible at any point this summer. I have nothing going on. I would be more than happy to talk to you about anything you want. Um, so just let me know and I'm excited to get to work. All right, do we have any questions for Bertie? Seeing none, we can move down the list. Awesome. And then now we have our uh, policy and development director, Ariana Chavaria. Ariana, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, and then if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask those. Hi, I'm, uh, as Naya said, Ariana Chavaria, but you can also call me Ari for short. Uh, I am a senior here at KU, majoring in political science, minoring in public policy and women, gender, and sexuality studies. I am going to be your policy and development director for the 2021 to 2022 school year. I am super, super, super excited about public policy and stuff like that. It's the stuff that really just makes me excited. And who doesn't like public policy? So um, I am super, super, super available this summer, just like Bertie said. Um, I can drop my email in the chat if anyone has any questions about how they can get involved and how they want to, you know, <clears throat> collaborate on policy and stuff like that. Please, 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 please let me know. Uh, I really pride myself on being a very like transparent and open person. So like, I'm not going to like, I'm never going to lie to you. I am never going to mislead you. So please know that I'm a very honest person when it comes to stuff like that. So uh, contact me and uh, let's see what we can do together. All right, do we have any questions for Ari? Seeing none, we'll go ahead and move down the list. Awesome, so next we have our Director of Diversity and Inclusion, or DEI Director, uh, Daphne Curio. Daphne, if you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself, and then if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask those at this time. 
Yeah, hi, my name is Daphne Curlo. I use she, her, hers pronouns. I'm from a person in Kansas, though I am actively on a street corner in Mexico. So sorry about the background noise. Um, like Naya said, I'm the Director of Diversity and Inclusion this year, and I'm just really excited to be able to cultivate a community of inclusivity, which I think is something that our campus needs to work on in order to be able to move forward into the world as individuals that are inclusive and respecting of everyone. I'm so sorry about the crying baby. But yeah, um, I just really wanna make sure that as um, a leader in my position that I'm open to any and all conversations that need to be had, because I think the best way to accomplish the goals is to be able to have open and honest communication. So please feel free to reach out to me about literally anything, even if you don't think it has to do with my job, I would be happy to talk to you about it and make the year as awesome and welcoming as it can be. All right, and do we have any questions for Daphne? All right, seeing none, we will now move down the list. Awesome, so next we have our treasurer, uh, Hamad Hussein. Hamad, if you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself, and then if anyone has any questions, ask those at this time. Hey, Jay, I see you. Hi, everyone, my name is Hamad. Uh, my full name is Sayed Hamad Hussein. I go by my middle name with the pronouns of he, him, his. Uh, I am returning to Senate after my time as a chair of finance committee and then a member of finance committee for the years prior. Um, so I am a senior this year. I am studying healthcare information management with a minor in leadership. Um, what I am foreseeing our uh, year up ahead a lot more funding for student groups because we're gonna be all in person. So if you have any student groups or have any projects you wanna do, make sure you reach out to me. Um, funding more accessible to students on how where there's the status is of your student group. So um, making that more visible for student groups to be able to see that, um, live tracking. Um, and then as far as our funding that was allocated for this year, we're gonna find out late next week or early the week after um, what is allocated by KBOR for tuition. So if there is any edits that are needed, we might have another emergency full Senate, you never know. And then the fiscal year is gonna uh, start on July 1st. Um, so three, uh, three weeks and one day, and then you can start using your funding that you were allocated. Um, so I do not have any other announcements this was supposed to be an informational speech, but with that, I will pass it off to the next person. All right, do we have any questions for Hamad? Seeing none, we will go ahead and move on to the last person on the list. Awesome, and then we have our associate treasurer, uh, Hanif Ashraf. Hanif, if you want to go ahead and reintroduce yourself um, or introduce yourself, and uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask those at this time. Hello, everyone. My name is Hanif Ashraf. Um, I'm currently going to be a junior studying in finance and business analytics. And if for every reason you don't want to reach out to Hamad, you know, that's completely okay, you know. I mean, Hamad is Hamad. You can always reach out to me as well. If you need any help with funding, writing any funding bills, or just looking to hang out or for a person to talk to, I'm always open. And I'm pretty sure our whole entire exec board, we're always open to talk with anyone on campus. Please just let us know. And I'm really looking forward to working with everyone next year. All right, and do we have any questions for Hanif? Perfect. Okay, real quick. Sorry to interrupt you, Ethan. Um, real quick, I just wanted to kind of reintroduce Holly Hall. Um, I know that she kind of spoke to being the outgoing uh, and also the incoming um, student senate um, grad VP, but just for like new folks, um, if you like haven't already met Holly or like um, have worked with her before and know her position. We just kind of wanted to like reiterate that like she's also the incoming uh, student senate grad VP uh, in the office, so. Did you, do I need to say, oh yeah, I'm Holly. Yeah. Nice <laughs> to see you all again. Um, I, if for those that are new, I am a graduate student. Um, I'm from London, England. I'm an international student, just like Umberto. Um, I am, going into my third year of my PhD in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies. And fun fact, I'm about to hit my ninth year in the United States. So one day I'll be a citizen, but it's not today. 
Awesome. And with that, I am looking for a motion to approve our 2021 to 2022 student executive staff. I see a motion from Faith and a second from Martine Vasquez. All right. And I will put up the poll now. And yeah, um, only vote if you are a member of the 2021 to 2022 Student Senate. And um, you'll have the option to vote yes, no, abstain, or hit not a voting member. And so that poll will be launched now. All right, probably just another like 10, 15 seconds as people get their final votes in. All right, and with that, I will go ahead and end the poll here. And yes, it seems that the executive staff for 2021 to 2022 has been approved. Brilliant. All right, and Naya, I'll let you um, speak to that as well. Cool, awesome. So uh, yes, obviously um, in this upcoming year, there are a lot of things that we are going to be working on uh, in this new administration. Um, there, I guess I just want to kind of like echo and reiterate uh, some of the stuff that um, Aprame and uh, Addison spoke to. Um, there has been a pattern and and that has been in student senate for quite a while um, that has need to not only be addressed, but um, needs to be um, dealt with accordingly. Um, you know, this is kind of my first meeting, so I don't want to just like jump on here and, and kind of go like full guns blazing, but I think that it's important for me to be transparent with you all on some of the things that um, are going to be addressed. Um, and I think, you know, with the past racism and, you know, trigger warning, um, the issues of, you know, sexual assault and violence um, in Student Senate. Um, those things are not going to be tolerated this year. Um, and I think that that goes with the accountability and transparency of what we're trying to bring to this office and overall Senate. Um, and so just having the understanding that um, respecting others, respecting others uh, spaces and boundaries and identities um, go into that. And so uh, moving forward, we want to have a great year. We want to have, um, you know, that amazing change happen, especially for, you know, the marginalized communities on campus that um, we're trying to do this work for. Um, you know, so moving forward with the understanding that, um, you know, with accountability comes honesty as well. So um, I look forward to working with you all. I look forward to meeting you and, and making that change happen for our students and, um, serving these students in the office, you know, I was voted in here, um, big thanks to everyone, you know, who voted for Ethan and I, um, because ultimately, like, we have students at the forefront at the end of the day, so thank you guys so much. Awesome, and to deliver my incoming officer report, Bertie, I'll be handing you the chair as chief of staff, as mandated by SSRR, um, and yeah. All right, uh, you can go ahead. All right, perfect. Um, hi, I am your new student body vice president. I use they, them, theirs pronouns. I am going to be a rising senior studying political science and global international studies. And yeah, I'm very excited, you know, to, you know, have a great year in this student senate and get a lot of work done for our students. Thank you very much. Any questions for our new student body vice president, Ethan? All right, seeing none, I will pass uh, the chairing back to Ethan. Thank you, Umberto. All right, and now we will go ahead and proceed to the election of our senior senator for the 2021 to 2022 Student Senate. Um, do we have any nominations on the floor? I yes. would love to nominate Sadie Williams, obviously. 
Yes. All right, Sadie, do you accept? Uh, yeah. Right. And do we have any other nominations on the floor? Oh, and yes, um, I'll also go ahead and explain the position here. So um, the senior senator is position in student senate um, that is expected to take over the chair if both uh, I and the chief of staff are indisposed. And so you would be expected um, to work with the student senate, um, make sure that you can um, chair it effectively and unbiased, and also practice Robert's rules <laughs> in that student senate body. Um, so yeah, that is, I guess, like the long and short. Does anyone have any questions regarding position? I also know that was like a 20 second little explainer there. <laughs> yeah, with that explanation, um, does anyone else have any other nominations for the position? You may also nominate yourself or someone else. All right. Seeing none, um, we will go ahead and move to acclimate. Can I see a motion to acclimate Sadie Williams as our senior senator? I see a motion from Holly and a second from Umberto. Um, and yeah, I will go ahead and just, you know, put your favorite Zoom reaction on there. <laughs> All right, and with that, Sadie Williams, you are now our new senior senator. Congratulations. Would you like to say anything? Thank you all. I, as I promised earlier, all smiles from here on out, but um, thank you all. I really appreciate it. And I promise that should I ever need to chair the Senate or anything, um, should Ethan and Umberto be disposed, then I have that SSRR knowledge to help you all out. So, and Robert's rules, and I'll get a book if not. So. Or I'll borrow Ethan's. It's probably better, <laughs> more cost effective. All right, brilliant. And after that, we will go ahead and move to the election of our university Senate representatives. And to explain what that looks like, so essentially there are three Senates that are used in practicing university governance. We have the student Senate, the faculty Senate, and the staff Senate. Um, and all of those bodies elect representation to the university Senate, which is usually deciding a lot of university issues for that. And generally, you will need to be available on Thursdays from 3.15 to 5 p.m. throughout the semester, as that's when that Senate usually ends up meeting during the year. Um, so yeah, with that, I'll open it to the floor. We are seeking seven nominations from undergrad student senators and two nominations for graduate student senators to this body. And then following this election, we will go ahead and elect the Senate Executive Committee represent representatives and that would be um, out of the members who are in the university senate that get elected tonight. So also keep that in mind that we will be electing out of the body that we choose now to the Senate Executive Committee. Um, and with that, I see um, a hand from Holly first. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and nominate for the graduate people because I don't know if there are even any graduate students here. I don't recognize names, but there could be new graduate student senators. So. If you are a grad, new graduate student senator and you were interested in this, please go ahead and nominate yourselves too. Um, I'm going to nominate myself because, and the reason why is because I kind of have to because, and I'm going to explain it to everybody as to why. So uh, the position that I am in, graduate student body vice president, historically has not been a position in student senate. And so therefore it hasn't been adopted to university senate yet because we were blocked by some great people last year that were in uh, on our executive team and so my position will would only be able to advocate on the university senate executive um group senex and if i nominate myself so i have to i usually wouldn't want to do that but i have to do that so i apologize i don't want to take it away from somebody else but also i'm being paid and other graduate students aren't and don't have the time but I would also like to nominate Sharif. Um, he was on University Senate Executive Committee last time. Um, so for this for this position, I would just have him be on University Senate. And when we go forth and do Senex, I'll nominate myself for that. But those are the two names I would like to nominate. Um, so Sharif, since he got elected as holdover, he's already a representative in University Senate too. Oh, so I need another graduate student, F. 
is there any graduate students here that would love to do this? Anyone? Or are we going to have to wait till the fall? We're going to have to wait till the fall. Okay, I just nominate myself. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> All righty there. Um, and with that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and like sort of split this um, into like a graduate election and an undergrad election. Um, so um, I'm just going to generally see, do we have any opposition for sending Holly Hall as our graduate representative to the University Senate this year? All right, seeing none, can I get a motion to acclimate? All right, I see one from Mary Morrison and a second from Sadie Williams. All right, and so yeah, um, go ahead and drop your favorite Zoom reaction to acclimate Holly Hall as our graduate representative to the University Senate. Brilliant, all right, congratulations Holly <laughs> um, for what it is. <laughs> And next on speaking order would be Max Lilich. I nominate uh, Camden Baxter and Turner Seals for the undergrad positions. All right, and Camden and Turner, do you both accept? I do. Right. Yeah, I do too. All right, brilliant. And um, Martine, you had some nominations? Yes, I'd like to nominate Mary Morrison and Faith Lopez. Lopez. All right, Mary Morrison, do you accept? Yes, I do. Thank you, Martine. All right. And Faith, do you accept your nomination? Yes, I do. All right. And um, you are also next in the speaking order here. Um, I nominate Alejandro. All right. Alejandro, do you accept? I do. All right. Brilliant. And Holly, you are next in speaking order. Sorry, I feel like I've spoken a lot. I would like to nominate Hamad Hussein and Sadie Williams. All right, Hamad, do you accept? Yes. And Sadie, do you accept? Yes, I do. All right. Hamad and Sadie. One, two, three. All right, we are at seven. And Martine, you have another nomination? No, I just forgot to lower my hand down. My bad. Oh, <laughs> perfect. All right. Um, so yeah, we are currently at seven representatives. Are there any other folks who want to um, be considered for representatives on the University Senate? All right. And since we are hitting our seven requisite members, um, Camden Baxter, Turner Seals, Mary Morrison, Alejandro Renga Lopez, Faith Lopez, Hamad Hassan, and Sadie Williams. Um, we will now move, can I get a motion to acclimate these folks to the University Senate? I see one from Holly Hall and a second from Asia Butler. All right, and with that, just feel free to drop your favorite Zoom reaction in the Zoom. All right, congratulations to our new representatives to the University Senate. All right, moving through this quickly. <laughs> All right, and then finally, we are looking for an election of our Senex representatives, which will be two undergrad representatives and one graduate representative from that pool. All right, and so Holly, I saw your hand up first. Love that, got in there slightly. Obviously, I'm going to nominate myself for the graduate representative because then I'm going to change University Senate. So then, well, we are going to change University Senate. So then I can be on there on my own and can have more graduate representation, but that's besides the point. And then I would also like to nominate for the two, is it two undergrad? Yes, it is two undergrad positions. Um, I would like to nominate Faith Lopez and I would like to nominate Sadie Williams for those positions. All right, and next I had Hamad. Yeah, I was going to nominate Sadie. <laughs> We're good. All right, brilliant. Then Mary. Um, I'm going to nominate myself. All right. And let's see. Let's see, Max. I'm going to nominate Camden and Turner again. Right, Camden and Turner. 
Um, Camden, do you accept the nomination? Sure. All right, Ann Turner, do you accept your nomination? Uh, can I ask my question first? I was, yeah, sure. I was just gonna ask what the difference between the positions are. Exactly. All right, um, yeah, so the University Senate is the um, body that presides across like all of these um, Senate governments and the Senex is the like University Senate Executive Committee. So that's the committee sort of like at the head in the same way that the executive staff has Studex in the Student Senate. Okay, great. Uh, then yeah, I accept. Thank you. All right. And do you have a nomination of your own or? No, I just wanted to ask a question. Oh, perfect. All right. And I don't think I also, I also didn't ask Faith, do you accept your nomination? I do. All right. And Sadie, do you accept your nomination? Yes, I do. All right. So it looks like we will have an election here. Um, so what we will, oh, I actually see another one here. Um, Holly? Yeah, I just wanted to note because Addison let me know that um, because I have nominated myself and no one's running against me for the uh, graduate position on Senex, I need to appoint a graduate student for Studex. And so I'm going to, if I can, Umberto, you're going to know, I would appoint Sharif again, but I don't know if I can do that. Can I do that? I think you can since he is also going to be in university soon. Okay, I'm going to appoint Sharif to Studex, not Senex, Studex as the graduate student. Yeah, you can do that. There's like no issue with the overlap between those two. It's basically because, Ethan, I took the, I'm taking the position on Senex. And so I, we need two graduate students on Studex. So I'm going to appoint Sharif to that. Ah, okay. So Max, sorry for your note taking, my bad. All right, and Turner? Sorry, I meant to put that down. No. Oh, totally fine. All right, um, with that, um, we will go ahead and offer space for um, people to make speeches on like why they believe their candidacy should be there. Um, so yeah, uh, Addison, do you think you could help me with the polling function on this one here? So. Let's see here. You know, for one of my Senate advisors on the call, do you know how we usually would sort of divvy this out? <laughs> oh, Jane, I believe you're muted. Sorry about that. In the <laughs> past, you would have paper ballots. So, um, and then the last time in students and when you all had to vote, you, they sent their, how many do you need to? How many do you um, need? So we have two representatives. We currently okay. have five in the pool. Right. So they would send their top two votes. Um, they'd put those in a message in the chat privately, I guess. Well, how you did in the old way, you'd put two on a paper ballot. We The advisors would go out. We would count the top two and give it to and tell you, Ethan, who the top two were. And if you had to have a runoff, we would tell you that. Seeing that you can't do that, in here, you could send your, um, everybody who can vote can send their top two in a private message to either Jennifer or me. I don't know if Sarah's still here or not. And we could tally them for you. Okay. Um, and for making and it may for take us a few minutes. <laughs> should I create breakout rooms as a breakout room as well for the candidates for the um, speeches? Yeah, I forgot about the speech part. But then they all come back in to vote. All right, so I will go ahead and do it in the order that I received um, these nominations. So I will go ahead and get this set up here.
All right, so Camden, Mary, Sadie, and Turner, you will be receiving an invitation to go join a breakout room. And once you receive that, just go in there and I'll be pulling all of you in sort of like individually um, when we are going to be doing your speeches. And Faith, you are going to be the first one, so you'll be pulled out pretty um, momentarily there. And Faith, I'll also go ahead and assign this to you as well. So you can go ahead and like join that so I can have you like come in and out of that as well. Okay. And then for um, pulling people out of breakout rooms, I've never um, done this function before. So would it just be as simple as like clicking a name out or? Yeah, you just assign them back into this room. Oh, okay, I see. All right. So we will begin and start with Faith here. Ethan, can we have a reminder of who on exec can vote, just in case the new exec members are unsure whether they can vote or not? Um, yes, I believe, um, let's see, Umberto, you were looking at that information earlier, yes, correct? Uh, yeah, I can send a list real quick to the chat for everyone. Brilliant. And Faith, are you now in here with us? I am. All right, perfect. Um, so yeah, um, basically you will have two minutes to sort of like state your case on like why you think um, you would be the best fit for our Synex representation. And after that, I'll then open the floor up to questions and we will go from there. I have a question real quick. Are the uh, questions going to be a part of my two minutes? Uh, no. Okay, fantastic. Right. Brilliant. Um, um, go ahead and start. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Faith Lopez. My pronouns are she, they. Um, I am a rising sophomore and I am in the School of Social Welfare with a minor in political science. Um, I am a sophomore senator as well. Um, and so I did Senate last year and um, I was also a Senex uh, representative. Um, when Jimena stepped away, there was a vacant seat. And so I ended up filling both the university um, and the Senex position. Um, throughout, like, I think a period of two months, I was able to kind of get some edge in there and uh, be able to kind of facilitate some of the discussions and bring um, a different kind of perspective, especially being um, fresh to Senate as well. There was kind of a learning opportunity, but I think this year, if I was in it, um, I kind of have some goals that I would really like to see um, implemented as well as I work for the diversity, equity and inclusion department of the University of Kansas. Um, and so we've been able to kind of discuss of like, this is our, these are our goals this year, for obviously for students in it, but from a university perspective, these are also our goals. And so I wanna make sure that we can bridge that gap. Um, and I'm willing and very passionate about um, advocating for students and student rights. And so I'm not afraid to sit and be polite, but also um, if there is something that needs to be said, I will speak, uh, speak upon the agenda that is being pushed by students in it. And so I hope that I can represent everyone. And like always, when I was in high school, I had like this little stupid phrase, but make sure you put your faith in Faith Lopez. I like to end any speech with it. Um, but now I will open myself up for questions. All right, perfect. And if anyone has any questions for Faith, um, feel free to use the raise hand function. Um, if I see no one raise hands, um, I'll just can really give like 15 seconds to um, commence and then we will move along. All right. Okay, well, seeing no questions, Faith, you can go ahead and return to your breakout room. All right, thank y'all. Yep, thank you. All right, and 
Um, as we're in the interim of this, uh, Hamad, um, do you want to also explain the form that you just sent to me? And I also just want to check that it will be within the parameters of SSR and the secret ballot as well. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah or, so, um, so, so we'll vote after everybody um, does their speeches and you'll have the option of clicking two people's. It's a Google form and you'll have to type in your full name just for voting records. So Max can audit this. Um, but we'll get to that once everybody do does their speeches. All right, and does that sound good, Jane? I was looking at Hamad's form. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how y'all want to do it. That's fine. In the past, they've not made students, and I understand why they have to identify who they are when they're voting, but they've not had the students know what the actual vote is. But if you would prefer that way, it's absolutely fine with me, and that form looks absolutely fine, too. Well, I think essentially, like, we don't necessarily have to, like, tell people, like, who voted for who, but just so we know, like, who are the top two candidates, like, who were selected for Senate. Um, so Max would have that information only really, I guess, who voted for. Yeah. You, you, also, you last year, like, when I, nobody told me I couldn't vote, that, and I was ex officio, so I was voting for a good while, so it's probably, like, a good thing people have, so we don't have people, you know, messing it up like I did for everyone. But I say, Ethan, you all do what you all want to do, and either way works. All right. Sounds perfect, Jane. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I just got notification from Umberto as well that nobody in executive staff gets a vote in the full Senate. Um, I would only get a vote of um, we have like a sort of tie situation. Um, but yeah, that is where we are sitting on that for all of our exec members on the call. Um, and with that, we will go ahead and let Sadie Williams into the call. All right. Hi, Sadie. All right, so just to describe the process, you'll essentially have two minutes to sort of state your case for like why you think you would be our representation, the best representation for the um, Senex committee. And then following that, we'll have like room for you to answer questions. This will not be included in the two minute time. And yeah, does that sound good with you? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, perfect. You can go ahead and begin. Awesome, thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Sadie Williams. It's great to talk to you all at this level um, and hopefully in person or in a hybrid format in the fall at some point. But um, I'm going to be a junior. I'm studying English and economics, which is a kind of a chaotic combo, but I enjoy it. Um, and so why I accepted this nomination today and why I really hope that you grant me the opportunity to serve in this role and at the Senex level is because um, I have a, had a lot of experience in Senate in the past. I've been in Senate since like the first week of my freshman year. I was lucky enough to find out about it um, and know where to go in the union to like show up. And I've been in it ever since. I got to serve as the associate treasurer last year and it was a great year to really learn a lot about the inner workings of student Senate and what it really means to serve students on both like a like a physical and emotional labor level, but then also on like a technical side of it of how to balance SSRR and how to at the same time like balance like my own like personal needs in that, you know, as people we are limited in both like our energy and like what we can do for students. And so ultimately like being cognizant of that, um, I am did take a step back from exec, but I really would love to serve in this role because at my very core, I am here to advocate for students at every level. Um, and I know that because of the confidence that I gained in the past leadership roles within Senate um, and all of the knowledge that I was like fortunate enough to acquire um, about our inner workings, I would be able to really effectively advocate for students at the like university Senate level and at the staff Senate level and really work with those leaders and push for what students need and have both the like interpersonal strength to be very strong and like unrelenting in students needs, but then also be able to like com communicate well and like problem solve and effectively like work with those leaders to like have the best like case scenario for students. And so 
that's a little bit about why I hope you choose me to serve in this role. I know coming up with my two minutes, but yeah, I'd love to answer any questions. I just really believe that students need a space on campus and someone to advocate to um, and someone to advocate for them. And I would love to be that person. And I think I would do a really good job at it. Thank you, Sadie. And does anyone have any questions for Sadie before um, we move on to the next candidate? All right, well, thank you, Sadie. You may go ahead and move back to the breakout room. Yeah, of course. See you all soon. All right. And next we'll be having Mary Morrison. Hello. Hi, Mary. All right. So to just explain the process here, um, you're going to get two minutes to speak as to why you think you'd be the best representative to the Senate Executive Committee. And after that, we'll have some open periods for questions if anyone has any questions for you. Um, does that sound good? I'm muted. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Your time starts now. Um, hello, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mary Morrison, and I use she, her, hers pronouns. Um, I'm majoring in political science and global international studies, and I'm minoring in Arabic and Middle Eastern studies. Um, I think I would be a great candidate for uh, Senex because first I have um, lengthy experience with just student Senate in general, so I can apply that to Senex. Um, but I also understand how University Senate works because I spent all of last year in University Senate. Um, I went to just about every meeting and I believe that I am one of two candidates that have actually participated in Student Senate. Or not Student Senate, try that again, University Senate. Um, so I'm also pretty familiar with who the new um, administration will be for University Senate, um, which I think would be helpful. Um, I went to the closing meeting for University Senate, so I've heard their introductions, um, what their goals are for um, next semester. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know what else I should say. Um, I'm just excited for the next year, and I hope you guys nominate me to University, or just, yep. Senex. I keep trying to say Studex. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mary. And do we have any questions from Mary before we move on to the next candidate? All right. Brilliant. Well, Mary, you can go ahead and return to the waiting room. How does one do that? Breakout rooms? Uh, yes, uh, the breakout room. Correct. <laughs> Oh, that was my timer. Okay. And then next we will be letting in Camden Baxter. Hi, Camden. Hi. So just to explain sort of the process, you will have two minutes to sort of state your case as to why you think you'd be the best representative to Senex. And following that, we'll then open a period for questions from the Student Senate. Does that sound good to you? It does. All right, brilliant. You can go ahead and start. For those of you who do not know me, my name is um, Camden Baxter. I was privileged enough to serve as a freshman student senator last year. And those of you who hung around not only student senate, but finance committee uh, would have seen me from time to time. I currently hold a seat representing the freshmen and sophomore members of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I'm from Wichita and I'm studying sociology and economics. Introdu introductory stuff out of the way. Um, during last election season, I was pretty heavily involved in the platform side of things. Uh, more specifically in the realm of student services. I um, with platforms pertaining um, to student healthcare, um, CAPS, Watkins Health Center, and other such entities um, with a focus on reducing healthcare costs for students. And in essence, making KU um, 
more accessible to all students, regardless of economic background. And it is that work that um, as a member of, or as a member of StudX, I would hope to pursue um, most fervently. At the end of the day, Student Senate is an extraordinarily potent tool that we have as students to advance the interests of the student body with access to funds and resources that almost no other students at any universities in the country have access to. And to me, the importance of Student Senate, it's not in the titles, it's the way in which we use that tool to make life better for students at the University of Kansas and to make this University of Kansas more accessible to everyone. Um, I'm sure, as we all know, is one of the most expensive universities. It is the most expensive public university in the state of Kansas, and it is extremely important to me that it is accessible to those without necessarily um, the economic means that the vast majority of the students at KU have. So if you do decide to elect me um, to the student executive board, um, you have my promise that my primary and, in essence, sole focus will be advocating for the student body in a way that um, I, I think would make all of you proud and in a way that um, would reflect the interests of the student body at large, because at the end of the day, that is why I'm here. That is why I care about Senate. Um, and those are the ideals that I would uh, fervently speak to uphold, uh, fervently seek to uphold as a member of the student executive board. Thank you for your time. And I look forward to fielding any questions. All right. And with that, does anyone in student Senate have a question for Camden? Um, oh, Alejandro? Yeah, I have a question. Um, so as this administration's focus is on um, marginalized students and students of marginalized ident identities, um, how do you seek to advocate specifically for them or with them um, on any actions? That's a great question, Alejandro, and I think they, it's an important you know, they choose to address. pursue any policies related to. Uh, I'm sorry, you cut out there for a second. Um, I guess the way I view this is that there's no way that pursuit of um, justice for marginalized and inclusion for marginalized identity can't coexist with um, pursuit of, you know, the socioeconomic things that are real constitute uh, the bedrock and, you know, in many cases, um, an important aspect of daily life. Um, it, it's impossible to be included in any space if you can't have health care, if you don't, you know, have access to therapy and all the types of student services that I've worked for. I didn't mean my speech in any way to say that I don't care or that I wouldn't also strive to uphold um, and promote the inclusion of marginalized identities. But I do also believe that it's critical to address things like economic inequality that have a tremendous impact um, on the daily lives of everyone, and especially students at, um, of marginalized identities. As I'm sure we all know, those are the ones, uh, those people are the ones who, um, you know, would benefit from these types of programs that I've sought to advocate for um, as much as anyone. All right, thank you, Alejandro. Thank you, Camden. Um, and do we have any other questions on the floor? And also make sure to um, use the raise hand function as well, because I have like a couple of pages of people to look at here, and it's, you know, a lot to manage on this screen as well. <laughs> but yeah. All right, seeing no further questions, Camden, you can go ahead and move back into the breakout room. Thank you. Thank you for your time. All right, and now we will be moving to our final candidate, uh, Turner Seals. Hi, Turner. Hey. All right, so just to explain how the process will go for you, um, it will be two minutes to sort of explain and state your reasons as to why you believe you would be the best representative for Student Senate on the Senate Executive Committee or Senex. And um, with that, we will also go ahead and allow a period for questions from the Student Senate after your speech. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, that's great. All right, perfect. You may go ahead and begin. All right, cool. Um, well, thanks everyone for getting on the Zoom. It is almost eight. Um, Wednesday during summer, so I get that. Um, but yeah, I I think this is a really cool opportunity. Um, I you know it's one of my goals as a student here to make the campus better, and I feel like learning more about how University Senate works and being on that committee would be a really good opportunity for myself, a really good learning opportunity. And 
just a really good experience. And I mean, I am, like I said, I'm passionate about making university better. And I think this just totally falls into that goal. Um, second off, I, although I'm a rising sophomore, I do, I do have some experience working with um, university, like administration and that sort of thing. I was the um, CAB chair for, or the student environmental advisory board chair for most of the second semester last year. And um, through that, I worked with David Mucci. He's um, um, involved in the unions at KU. And I worked with some other people and to get the solar panels up. That was our big project. So I just wanted to bring that into picture just to show that I do have some experience with um, working with um, faculty. And um, another thing I've done in Senate, I helped pass the KU Green New Deal. So, you know, that's a big deal to me. Um, I'm, I'm proud of those experiences and I think that would make me a qualified candidate. So that's all I really have to say. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Brilliant, thank you, Turner. And with that, does anyone have any questions um, from the full Senate? All right, seeing none, Turner, you can go ahead and return to the waiting room here. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, perfect. And let's see, has the, um, let's see, either Hamad or Max, can you send out the Google form onto um, the chat here? Right. There y'all go. It's in the chat now. Um, if anyone wants me to directly email it to them, I can do that real quick too. And yeah, um, feel free to use the form, select your top two candidates for the Senate Executive Committee. And then I will go ahead and receive the results of the election from our Internal Affairs Director, Max Lich. Yes, Holly? Are we not voting on the graduate because there's no one else running for it? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm just double checking. I was <laughs> confused. Yeah, I'm, I never know what's going on. So, yay. And Martine? Never mind the voting. I was going to ask if we were going to do like positive and negative speeches on the Candidates, I don't know if like the form's already closed, but no, we don't. Yeah, it's late. It's eight. Never mind. Holly's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will also. Yeah, I'll I'll open the floor if anyone does want to like speak to the candidates if they would like. Um, I'm not gonna make sort of like a formal process for it, but you know, just if you want to sort of share your opinion, you're free to do so um, using like the unmute function or the chat function. I can speak, I'm going to, I'll speak positively to both Sadie, Faith, uh, both Sadie and Faith as I nominated them. Sadie uh, showed a lot of care towards students from my marginalized backgrounds this past year with the DEI fund. Uh, Sadie treats everybody with respect, which is something we're looking for, and was a great worker when working as associate treasurer. Also, I've seen great leadership skills in Faith Lopez. Um, her commitment to DEI on our campus, I think, is something really important, something we need in uh, Senex to make sure that our marginalized communities are being well represented. And I believe both of them can do this job really well, which is why I nominated them in the first place. All right, Hamad, did you have something? Yeah, I can uh, say that. Uh with 100% clarity that Mary did attend every single university senate meeting last year and she was the only student to do that <laughs> that was not at a very high level in senate so she was doing it as like a normal student so um props to Mary for that um I always saw her like at those meetings and I was like hey why and she's like 
I got elected and she attends every single one and participates. I have a question for someone with more knowledge of SSRR than me. Do the people in the waiting room get a vote? They do not. Okay. Just thought maybe because it was two different seats, but. At least, you know, I said that very quickly. I mean, I will also accept confirmation of that fact. Um, I, uh, yeah. I believe that's You're right, Ethan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, and do we have any other um, positive things to state from the floor here? All right, seeing none, has everyone who is able to vote in the 21 to 22 stated Senate um, voted for this? Are we good for results? Has everyone voted? Okay. Uh, if you want to bring them back in, I'll announce the results. All right, and it looks like all of our candidates have returned. Max, could you announce the results of the election? Thank you to everyone for giving a speech. I know that's pretty intimidating. It might even be more intimidating on a Zoom since you're looking into the computer. But with that, our two representatives are Sadie Williams and Faith Lopez. All right, congratulations to you both for now being members of the Senate Executive Committee. Um, and now I'll go ahead and sort of just go down a list to allow our university Senate members to um, introduce themselves real quickly, um, starting with Camden. Um, well, actually, you know, I feel like the people who gave speeches did also do some pretty good introductions in those speeches. Um, so for the people um, who didn't introduce, I think the only person who didn't get an introduction was Alejandro. So Alejandro, if you just sort of want to um, introduce yourself. Yeah. Hi, all. My name is Alejandro Rangel Lopez. I see him pronouns. Um, and I'm from Dodge City, Kansas. I'm a rising junior. Um, and this is my going to be my first year in student senate. Um, I haven't been, you know, very active on with any formal, you know, I guess, university organizations but I do a lot of DEI work on the outside in um, the community. I used to do statewide work. Now I'm shifting my focus back to local work in Lawrence and in my hometown of Dodge City, um, which is why I'm here. Um, so like, yeah, uh, I'm an open book. I love to talk to any, anyone in it, you know, everyone, if they're, you know, if you need any advice or like any help on anything, um, especially, you know, related to, uh, the Kansas State Legislature or, you know, any statewide politics or even local politics or rural issues, anything really. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'll take care. All right. Thank you, Alejandro. And just for a little housekeeping thing, um, can I get a motion to acclimate Holly as our graduate representative? I see one from Martine and a second from Faith. And so, yeah, just um, feel free to post your favorite reaction once again to acclimate Holly as our grad rep. All right, congratulations again, Holly, for the many committees you get to serve on. <laughs> All right, and with that, yeah, I'd like to, you know, thank everyone for um, staying on and, you know, also being patient with me as we sort of like work out the technical glitches of, you know, Zoom Senate, Hybrid Senate, as we move through this um, new school year. Um, but yeah, thank you. And with that, I will um, seek a motion to adjourn. All right, I see one from Umberto and a second from uh, Faith. All right. And is anyone in opposition to adjourning? Not in opposition, uh, but would love to say, very proud of Naira and Ethan this evening. 
Ethan for doing a wonderful job, Naya for also doing a wonderful job and for you both being amazing human beings. And we are so excited to have you. Oh, well, thank you very much, Holly. I appreciate it. Um, and with that, um, I will say we are adjourned. Thank you everyone for spending your Wednesday night with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye, everyone. <laughs> oh, oh, Naya. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying bye to everybody. Ah, okay. And we'll go ahead and stop the recording here. Let's see. Or, oh, should I have um, Addison or um, should I have you stop the recording or? <laughs>